it is July. Actually, it's like quite a bit into July. But this is my July TBR, the books that I want to read in July. The first one I want to try and read is The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, I want to read this because I really like the movie, but I know that movies and books are probably different. <laughs> are different. I feel like this one's going to be different too. Um, I really like the movie that's from 1931 and 1941. I think they're... I think they're like very... Good. <laughs> so this is about um, a young scientist named Henry Jekyll and he's trying to unlock the secrets of the soul and he's testing different chemicals in his labs and he drinks a mixture and he hopes that it will isolate and eliminate human evil but instead it instead it unleashes the dark forces within him transform him transforming him into the hideous and murderous Mr. Hyde. Mm. This book here also has some other stories by him, by Robert in this, so maybe I'll read those too, I don't know. Depends how I get along with um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Next one I grabbed is The Lightkeeper's Daughter by Ian Lawrence. I assume that says Ian, uh, yeah. Looks like it says Ian. <laughs> and you look at the pretty lighthouse. I like lighthouse. Lighthouses. Anyways, this is about um, a young woman returning home to where she grew up and uh, dealing with um, the death of her brother and her family and they seem like they have like a dysfunctional family. Um, so the girl, which her name is Squid, I don't know. <laughs> Squid's homecoming unleashes bittersweet recollections, revelations, and accusations. Who doesn't love a good accusation? So that one. And then I also grabbed, I decided to try a French book for, you know, practice. I grabbed Cyrano de Bergerac by Edmund Rostan. Rostan. This is, um... What this is about exactly, besides the fact that I know that in the movie um, with Steve Martin, <laughs> he grows a long nose. I don't know if that's in here, but whatever. And so it's where he's trying to help his friend romance um, his cousin, or rather, Sierra Noe's cousin. Anyway, it's about cousin love. <laughs> but it's written like... Um, basically like a play which I didn't know but it's like one-liners really so that should be easier to read not so much writing since it's you know in French <laughs> except for over here there's a big paragraphs but most of it is just one-liners so hopefully I can get through with that and then the two that I want to reread I always have stuff I want to reread the first one is A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare I read um, Macbeth last month, but I couldn't really get through it. So for this one, I want to try Midsummer Night's Dream. But this one here is like, um, it's not written like a play, it's written like an actual book. So I figured that that would be easier. And look how short it is as well, it's like... It's only like 70 pages, so that'll be easy to get through. Look at the pretty picture, the pretty fairies. Very colorful, very dreamy. It also has pictures inside there. They're nice pictures. And then the other one I wanted to get to was, or get to again, is Under the Wide and Starry Sky by Nancy Horan. Um, this is uh, like a um, historical fiction, which of course you know I like. And it's about a motorcycle. Summer's fun, isn't it? Um, so. This is um, talking about Fanny um, Van de Griff Osborne, um, who got married to, where is his name? I just said his name over there. What is his name? Robert Louis Stevenson. Yeah, so this is about their relationship. Um, so it's like a fictionalized biography kind of thing. 
Yeah, basically just the way they live their life and yeah, all that. Which is quite funny since I grabbed this one to read his his book, but I'm gonna be reading reading about his life in this one. It's his fictionalized life. <laughs> what a quinkitink. So those are the one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five books that I want to read in July, plus the stuff that I have that's been sitting on my shelf for a long time. So I hope to get to all of those, which I know I won't, but hopefully I can get to at least those five. Um, yeah, so I'll see you later.